the ProBlend Closed Container Mixing System, the first ever closed system mixing solution by Micromatic and Pulsair. For suspension concentrates, seed treatments, emulsions, and any products that require mixing in drums and IBCs. The following is a demonstration on how to operate the ProBlend mixer. In order to use the ProBlend closed container mixer, the container is required to be equipped with an RSV RPV three key closed system or equivalent with a straight down tube. It is very important to note that the correct length down tube is required for optimum mixing performance. If your container is not equipped, please refer to the IBC straight down tube and drum container kit installation instruction videos in the information and education section in the resource tab on our website. Also, the ProBlend mixer requires an air source that does not exceed 125 PSI, a clean, dry, oil-free air compressor, or room temperature nitrogen, and a six foot plus long air hose with quarter inch quick connect fittings. Before performing the following procedures, review the chemical MSDS and label instructions for required handling and personal protective equipment. We will first demonstrate the ProBlend closed container mixer on an IBC. Connect the ProBlend mixer to the container valve. With the handle in the upright position, align the pins on the coupler with the cams on the container valve. Insert and turn clockwise until it stops. Press the handle down firmly. The handle will lock and reside in the down position. Next, connect the air source. Before connecting the air line, the on-off switch must be in the off position and the pulse rate adjustment knob turned to the minimum setting. Connect the air line to the quarter inch male quick connect fitting. Adjust the filter regulator to 40 PSI by turning the black knob on the regulator. Increase pressure to achieve proper mixing based on the product characteristics. Most products will not require more than 60 PSI. Turn on and adjust the pulse rate. Move the toggle switch to on and turn the pulse rate adjustment knob slowly until the mixer begins to slowly pulse to no more than one pulse per second. Faster is not better. The product in the IBC will begin mixing. Mixing time for a 275 gallon IBC is about 15 to 20 minutes and a partial IBC will take less time. Results may vary with the product being mixed. Turn off and disconnect. When mixing is complete, turn the toggle switch to off and the pulse rate adjustment knob to minimum setting. Disconnect the airline and disconnect the micromatic coupler. Pull the black handle out and lift. Turn counterclockwise and remove from the container. With its turn click and go connection, one ProBlend closed mixer can easily transfer amongst a fleet of different drums or IBCs and products without cross contamination or the requirement of a dedicated mixer per container. Next, we will demonstrate how to operate the ProBlend mixer on a drum. It is important to note that there is less headspace in a 15 gallon drum than there is on a 30 or 55 gallon drum. In smaller drums that are full, the mixing action may cause froth to develop in the headspace. Small amounts of froth may discharge from the air vent pathway on the coupler if too much air pressure or too rapid a pulsing is used. If this occurs, decrease the pressure and the pulse rate until froth is no longer visible on the coupler vent. For the drum, the instructions are the same as the IBC. Adjust the filter regulator to 40 PSI. Turn on and adjust the pulse rate. Move the toggle switch to on and turn the pulse rate adjustment knob slowly until the mixer begins to slowly pulse to no more than one pulse per second. Faster is not better. Product in the drum will begin mixing. Mixing time for a 55 gallon drum is about five to 10 minutes and smaller drums will take less time. Results may vary with the product being mixed. Turn the toggle switch to off, disconnect the airline, and disconnect the micromatic coupler. This completes the demonstration on how to operate the ProBlend mixer.